Uh, guys, all right. So today, uh, what is supposed to do again? I guess now that Leona is proclaiming himself emperor, we have to go and chase him down at uh, Pandemonium uh, Paramisha Castle. And of course, uh, since we are not as gifted as Paul in kite flying, we can't really land there on a kite. So we need uh, Sid's airship. And in order to get Sid's airship, we need him to die. So let's get right on it, old man. I can, I can only imagine that at a previous point in Sid's life, he must have told Furion, you get my airship over my dead body! And so the prophecy has been fulfilled. For some strange reason, his airship is back at Poft. Uh, Poft is completely destroyed. But the airship is there, so I guess the airship is made of stronger stuff than uh, the whole city itself. And the cyclone uh, blew Sid all the way to Altair. No, not Altair. Uh, what's the name of that city? Finn. Magic conch, I believe that is used to can be used to cast shell. This is balloon. Uh, have I lost my way? No way. There we go. Now this airship can speed up. Oh, there we go. Just need to hit circle a whole bunch of times. Now that we have Richard in our party, we could go visit Elena. Will she give us the... No, she'll give us the Excalibur later on. Once we are done with this dungeon. So right now there's no use really visiting Elena. And I guess uh, let's just get on with it. Some uh, pretty cool treasure over here. Most dangerous encounters here are general, so man, not looking forward to that. These are fine. Why are you attacking the plant? Attack the damn skull. I think I need a weapons upgrade. Alright, what is here? It is a diamond blade. Yeah, I don't really care about it. Actually, do we care about it? It's a blade after all. Power Sash, White Robe, Ninja Suit. No, I'd rather not replace any of those uh, for the Diamond Plate. The Diamond Plate has an uh, enormous amount of defense for very little weight. But uh, I definitely want to keep hold of all the extra features provided by the equipment that I'm wearing right now. Status protections mainly. White Robe is never going off. Just don't give me two generals. Strongly considering using the blood sword on the damn generals. Because we are because uh, 
We don't even have a thousand HP right now. So the generals are going to one shot. Well, we'll see. Actually, Ferrin has so much agility that uh, it's, a, it's a very low chance that uh, anybody can ambush us right now since we're getting so many preemptives. But uh, that's the absolute worst case I'm talking about. Uh, an ambush by two general encounter. Oh no, wood column. Let's take care of that guy first. I think the 5-4 is only doing about 400 damage, even less than that. Our physical attacks are going to be doing significantly less than that. Did you finish him off? Nice. That guy has about 1600 HP, so maybe I should have attacked with Richard. Should calculate. Even with auto targeting, it pays to calculate. Oh crap, I, I better be at full HP at all times here. Not too worried about Gareth, but still, he'll he'll be able to help out in in case we do encounter generals. Two Gotos now. At least uh, the amount of defense we have outstrips their attack capabilities right now. They are they are they are quite beefy though. I'm not gonna bother healing. Back a swine, nice. I'm gonna be so salty if I get a super rare drop. Such as garlic. What a find. Oh crap, at least it wasn't an ambush. Alright, <laughs> let's get ready. Can we do anything except... Uh, you know what, let's try and curse one of them at least. So we won't have to do... We won't have to deal with extraordinary levels of damage. 10 hits? Yep, he's cursed. Cool. 6 hits for 178. Okay, that's uh, pretty reasonable. Maria's dead though. That's the difference between a cursed one and an uncursed one. Good thing Richard has uh, incredibly high sword skill. That helps. That helps with landing curves because these generals have uh, supreme magic defense. All right, I think uh, the fight just became a whole lot more manageable. But yeah, not looking forward to general ambush. Oof, 257. 
even though they are cursed. I guess Firin doesn't really have a lot of defense. Dragon Mail. Oh, I would have liked this under normal circumstances, but like I said, kind of like the status protection of my current equipment. Oh, damn it, Maria has overtaken everybody in terms of HP. Gareth is to 871. Whoa! Looking forward to everybody getting over a thousand HP at least. A knife. Keep trolling us, game. In, in this PlayStation remake, we've got plenty of equipment slots at least. Not equipment slots, so uh, inventory slots. That's what I meant. Oh, Phil's HP increased. That was surprising. Unbelievable that Gus has the lowest HP in our party right now. But maybe because he's been getting a lot of evasion. Oh, that's right, he's got the defender. No, actually, no, that doesn't matter. Defender has nothing to do with evade levels, only evasion percent. Everyone should be at 99 evasion percent right now. Yeah, sword skill increase, we don't really care about that. I'm gonna be switching her to staff soon. The only reason I'm not using the heal staff that I got as a lucky drop is uh, it's quite unreasonable to... I mean, th that's a really early drop. I'd rather not abuse it. Right now at least. Oh, I can uh, suck some MP from him. Might as well. Put Kodos to some use. Not that they can hurt me. Seriously, you only have 70 in MP? What's Maria's MP situation? 37 of 94. Yeah. A bit more to go. What do we have here? Hector is. Uh, Hector is? No, I don't think they have any MP. Getting consistent preemptives now. Wow, they didn't even get a shot in. Well, nobody said this was going to be an actual challenge. I'm doing it for your benefit, okay? People are like, how can you possibly play this game without using uh, items? Time for a mini boss. Actually, no, we've got the freaking ancient sword, so this guy's not. This guy's gonna be a pushover. Especially if we've got status protection. You know, I believe the Thunder Spear is actually more powerful than uh, uh, the Ice Brand, I believe. Let me check it out. I think Furion has good. Uh... Oh, look, he's got. Yeah, it's game over already. No, I don't. I don't think so. 
I was thinking whether I should switch Firin over to Lances, but we'll, we'll keep him at Swords, I think. Are you kidding me? Gus died? I, th I thought we had more magic defense than that. Why did I not multi-target it, idiot? Well, Gareth is going to be leaving us anyway. Big deal. And and hard is it hard it is to say, but Gus needs the HP. Like what the hell has he been how is he lagging behind this much? So what's up with our levels, hey? Sword level off. Eight. Okay, he only has level eight in swords and level seven in spear. Nah, nah, we'll keep it on the spear. We're gonna get better swords right now. Yeah, we're gonna get better, better swords. Wow. More of these guys, man. You know, I'm starting to realize that there are very few things here from whom you can siphon off some MP. Very inconvenient. That Kotos guy, for one. Who else is there? Can't even, can't even get any MP from the uh, generals. Amazingly, this guy, this boss that we just fought, can also appear as a random encounter. I was shocked out of my skin. Speaking of MP siphoning, hopefully it gives me more than 70 this time. When the hell is Osmo's gonna level up? Alright, I guess 18 is definitely more than 17. <laughs> and they don't even last two turns. Finally. Ripper! That's actually one of the best knives, but I'm not using knives anyway. And I don't care about cash, so I can go in the bin. Feels bad to throw such valuable drops, but that's not a super rare drop anyway. You know what's a super rare drop? A ribbon from a Lamia. Lamia Queen rather. Forget about this chest. Oh no, this is such an annoying encounter. It's gonna take ages. I guess it's not gonna take ages. I remember these guys being very beefy, but they are from the previous dungeon, so. No reason for, no reason for any fear as such. Same spirit. Plumber stop. Why am I even bothering to pick up all of this crap? Oh crap! I wish I didn't have to fight this guy, but I have to. Super defensive, cannot be cursed. Actually, he can be. One damage! 17 damage! Screw this. Sorry. Don't have the patience for this. That's bullshit, man. Hey, wait a minute. 
Do I have the spell that he's susceptible to? He's susceptible to arrow, but the fact is he's got like 2000 HP? I'll be here all day if I was to fight him. Maybe I should just use a blood, blood sword on that fucker. Uh, nah. Nah. Let's, let's not. Let's not, okay? Let's not. Like, what is, what is that saying? Discretion is the better part of valor. Especially when you're faced up against a huge rock with no weaknesses. That's bullshit, man. I don't even mind fighting the Mithril Golem. Alright, one of these is the heal star, which is what I'm looking for. And of course, in this room, every freaking step is going to be an encounter. I do mind this. A bunch of wizards, eh? You're a wizard, Harry. Wait, why do I care about wizards anyway? I've already got Osmos. Nine hits, please curse him. Oh, we have got a preemptive. Should probably pay attention to that. But I think in this dungeon, in this room, or Equal equivalent type of rooms, we can run into corals. So I should be careful of that. There's a mid star. Where the hell is the heal star? Oh, that was a main main one, eh? Alright. And starting now, Maria becomes a full time healer. Without needing to use items, without needing to use uh, even spells actually. And not, not only is she going to become a full-time healer, she's she's going to become an undead killer. If you run up against undead, oh boy, they're going to be... It's a guaranteed one-shot. Oh no. Who's a mega run from this? Seriously considering using the blood sword, but... Uh, at that point, it's cheating anyway. So might as well run away. I've tried to keep this playthrough escape free. You know, give me some freaking credit for that. How did you miss your wait, 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 wait. Why are you missing yourself? You mean to say that we have so much evasion that we are not able to hit ourselves? Okay, I that put the wrench in the works. Like what? Does she not have any staff levels? Perhaps is is that the issue? It's taking a while to curse this guy. Ah, crap. At least it's just one general remaining now. Seven hits and he wasn't cursed. Come on, man. Actually, I can't really complain. Yeah, everybody's gonna get some HP. And we desperately need HP for our final dungeon. Kill, kill Garrett. That, that's fine. Actually, that is not fine. Crap. He's not even cursed. Please, please, please die. Oh my god. Look at what happens when they don't get cursed. Please die. Fortunately, Ferrin is not getting anything. 
But now I'm afraid that Maria is going to run out of HP. Uh, MP. She has to heal everyone now. She only has 55 MP. Oh god. Never thought I'd run into this problem. Well, at least everybody else has MP as well. RIP MP! Oh my god! And I can't exactly use ethers. But someone else has MP, right? Oh boy. Yeah, I wanted to check. What the hell is up with uh, the staff level? Oh, staff level is only 4. Got it, got it, got it. And our evasion is already 4-99. 4-99 for Furion, for Maria, for Gus, not Richard. So we need at least staff level 5. Oh, wow, no wonder, no wonder. Well, some training is in store for Maria. I forget what is there to the left. Is it a Venom Sword? I don't remember what exactly we get. But I might as well go and check it out. I really shouldn't bother picking up any treasure. At least the ones I'm not going to use anyway. No, I think it's something completely useless, like an hourglass or something. Oh, no, 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 it's a sun sword. Yep, I definitely want this. So, this is going to be a monster in a box with a Lamia Queen. And how many corals? The less of the better. Oh shit, well the enemy strikes first. This is not good. It says blaster one, but that's actually blaster ten. Which is why you're actually susceptible to it. Right, what can we do here? Nothing much. Just hope to kill the quarrels as soon as possible. Those are the primary threats. We mean 300 damage! Oh, she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. Thankfully, life is guaranteed. That... Oh my god, this does not look good, is it? Please die. Each coral has a thousand HP. So far so good. Maria, I doubt she's she'll be able to heal herself. One more down. Yeah! <laughs> I never anticipated that, damn it. Oh what am I doing? I should be using Osmos. Well, I think it's worth it to spend some time just uh, sucking some MP off of her. Can't run from monster and boxes. Move Osmos at level 2. Wow, 50. Nice. Please don't die. I think Lamia Queens have a good 300 HP. So we should get a full refill here. 40. Yeah. That'll do. That will do. And I get a sunblade for myself. Once again, Gus did not get HP. What? What? 
Right, Gus gets the Sunblade. Where is it? Where the hell is it? There we go. It is strong already at 97. And Kieran can get the Defender. But how is Gus's evasion? Night still at hand. Cool. Right, if I continue down this path, I can get three elixirs, but uh, those are completely useless. So let me not waste any time. Lamias! Huh. There's Lamias over here. Can we... No, we still can one-shot them. But at least we can two-shot them. Not as they use Blink. Man, that flame sword is really showing its uh, weakness right now. It's just not strong enough. Oh no! It's gonna be plenty strong against us. Oh yeah, I should I should transfer the ice brand over to over to Gareth. This time's almost up anyway. Also, why am I not using Osmos? Need to keep reminding myself. This dungeon is taking way too long. See, see how effective Blink is. Even our best sword users are down to two hits. Ridiculous. Land crit. She's still not dead. What the fuck? 46 damage did the trick. I'll take it. Still no HP for Gus. We have now. Okay, these guys again. Forgot to transfer the ice brand over to Gareth. Trin got even more evasion, didn't he? So I'm gonna need uh, an even higher skill level with stars for Maria. But she'll get there. She'll get there. It's not a big problem right now. Oh no, just not gonna deal with this fight. Once again I have forgotten. Finally that heal stop hits, but not us. It's, it's awesome against undead. Are we there yet? God damn it. Nope, not dealing with this. Like I said, those who want to can use the blood sword on uh, the stone golem. 
he's susceptible to po the poison spell, scourge, arrow, whatever it is called. But there is no way in hell, unless you've been grinding it up, uh, you'll have the poison spell at a high enough level. Star skill improved finally. Hopefully, she'll at least get one hit. So she can heal like 100 or how much ever. We'll find out. We'll find out how much the heal staff will uh, heal even with just one hit. Oops. My damn controller. No! Cosmos, yeah, might as well. Three Gotos though. Nah, I've been out here myself. Yeah, Gus. Gus needs HP. Finally, get some HP. <laughs> We're at the final floor. There are a couple treasure chests to the left, but I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna ignore them. There's no boss here anyway. Oh, nothing much to be afraid of. I believe the chest to the left. Oh, let me ask. It's just one wind flute and a hellfire or something. They're irrelevant! Where are you, Osmos? All right, Richard. Do you have anything important that I want? Carrot, rather. Same sword, I don't care. Gold shield, gold hairpin. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll give, I'll give these to Leon. He might make uh, good use of it. Everything else, including the wind rig, can go. Actually, I don't think in this version you can actually get rid of the wind rig key item, but we'll check it out. Good new comfort.
let's get all the villainy out of the way. She's come back from hell with an even bigger heel stuff. Thank you, Gareth. Your sacrifice will forever be remembered as done by Richard. Richard Highwind or Ricard Highwind. Oh right, I can't skip this. Not in the PlayStation version. What is Louis Leon doing here? Right, nothing doing here. We already will, the airship will be waiting for us uh, right at the front gate. So I'm just gonna clean up my inventory. And uh, see you guys next time. Later!